guys, it's Anna Molinaro from O'Brien Real Estate Blackburn and welcome to our property news for property investors where real estate information is on the house. There has been some confusion with some real estate agencies within Victoria around if tenants in Victoria can legally sign new leases and move house. I can confirm they can move in and even if they hadn't arranged to prior to stage four kicking in, meaning before the 6th of August. Tenantsvic.org.au state these rights for tenants weren't restricted to just people experiencing family violence or at immediate risk of homelessness. The business.vic.gov.au website confirms under stage four restrictions, tenants can provide notice to vacate and engage removalists and other services relating to ending and commencing a new lease. It's that time of year again, where all property owners receive their rates and valuation notices for the coming year. Surprisingly, councils have decided not to freeze any rate increases and are forging ahead with the 2.5% cap increase that was determined on the 31st of December last year. In many cases, individual rate bills may increase or decrease by more or less than the 2.5% cap amount. Ratepayers have the opportunity to object to the valuation placed on their property, which ultimately determines most of the increase. Over the valuation period of the 1st of January 2019 to the 1st of January 2020, most suburbs across Melbourne have flatlined in growth. As a service to property owners, you can call upon your local real estate agent to assess and assist you with price data in your suburb to ensure your increase is in line with the market increase, which can help you if you decide to object to the valuation placed on your property. With people having a little more time on their side, people are asking questions more than ever. And that's great news because those that ask will generally receive. You'll either receive a yes, a no, or a maybe. We all know the old saying, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And I urge you to ask your insurance company, ask your electricity and gas supplier, ask your bank and ask your council. The cost to win a new customer costs 10 times more than to keep one. With many stay at home Aussies across Metro Melbourne, we believe people are showing a strong desire to change their housing requirements. We have all noticed that our streets, neighbourhoods and our front gardens are looking the best they ever have. And we believe it is not just because people have more time to do so, we believe it's because people are making change during the pandemic. And we expect Australia to follow a similar pandemic induced trend in the US, where people are increasingly moving out of apartments and into single storey family homes and into lifestyle and regional property. It is also expected that businesses based in and around central Melbourne will also look to move out and into the suburbs. The rental feature property of the week is 5 Yellow Box Lane, Burwood. This property features two bedrooms, one bathroom and one garage. Discreetly nestled in a boutique complex, this tri-level terrace home provides secure living and has comfortable lifestyle environment where every modern luxury is provided. It is perfectly situated with the bus stop at your doorstep and close to Holmes Glen Tate, Deakin University, Ashwood and Burwood train stations, numerous restaurants, shops and Chadston shopping centre nearby. Zoned for both Ashburton Primary and Ashburton Secondary College and the highly regarded Presbyterian Ladies College nearby make the location second to none and an ideal situation for all your needs. That's all for this week. I'm Anna Molinaro and remember the information provided is of a general nature. You should always seek independent legal, financial, taxation or other advice in relation to your unique circumstances. Until next time, it's bye for now.